Welcome back to Let's Play Traffic Giant with me, Squarko, on mission 11. The first mission, I'm... Actually, no, no, this isn't the first mission I've ever outright failed. I actually did fail mission 1 of this game, but... That was because I was a traffic noob, but yes. As it stands, we are not set to win this mission. It's a tragedy, I know. Now, the reason why I'm not winning this mission is just because I just haven't really had a good run on this mission I mean we're getting better I mean we've got money coming in quite nicely now we've got a rather efficient system of trams customer satisfaction is better than it was it was actually getting quite low throughout the middle stage of a mission the only thing was we couldn't make money off the suburban lines I mean this was my experimental suburban line here in here with these trams and it's basically not generating a sausage for me unfortunately but I'm not gonna pull it cuz to be honest I don't give a shit anymore um, so really what I'm going to do this year is I'm just going to fix up line 5 because I think line 5 is going to be my key to winning in the next time. That is going to be the line I build first. I'm going to net myself a nice chunk of work traffic, get this to build up some real big initial capital and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on, start taking over schools and that is how I'm going to get the school traffic I need. You know, because, right, I failed the mission, so, you know what, let's just try and play for one star on the next one, you know, just so we can pass. I mean, yeah, it sounds a bit defeatist to just to play for one star, but then again, maybe if I do well, get that one star early, I think I'll play for free. Now, we can nearly afford a new, there we go, a new GNX Z4, so let's get that on line 5, because line 5 really needs it. I have to say, um, I actually don't like how, um... Uh, the transport methods are separated, like, we have all the bus lines on top and then all the tram lines below. I, 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 I kind of prefer it if it was all done in order. I mean, I can tell if it's, but, oh, can I do, uh, no, I can't. I can, I can, I can put trams at the top and buses at the bottom, but, yeah, I can't do it by, uh, order of line. That's a bit, a bit, a bit of a shame, but that's what I'd do, you know. I'd have line one at the top and go, right, it's tram, 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 bus, bus, tram, bus, bus, tram. Yeah, oh well, it's, it's a petty complaint I know I'm making, but um, I've just felt like making a complaint. And there are one or two complaints I could make about this game now that I've actually failed the mission. Uh, you know, I, it's when I fail, you notice things that are wrong with the game. I mean, I'm not blaming my own shitty ability to play this game on the failure of this mission. Um, what is wrong with this game? Well, actually, I'm, I'm just, I was just thinking that maybe there is something wrong with the finances in this game. I was wondering, maybe the finances are not deep enough, but at the same time, they're too deep. Because, I mean, let's just um, pay some attention to the old pricing scheme here. Now, as you can see, my basic fare price is 40 pesos. So, someone pays me 40 pesos, they get on the tram, and then they go for a ride. However, there's an extra charge per zone you pass through. So, if you were in zone 1, and you wanted to go through zone 2 and into zone 3, you're passing through two zones. So, that's 30, 60, so that's 100 pounds, or sorry, 100 pesos to ride on my tram. So, pay up. Now, I can also decide how many fare zones there are. So, the more fare zones I have, the smaller they are, the more money I could squeeze, where the more pissy people will get. The less fare zones I have, the less money I could probably squeeze out. The bigger the zones are, but they might increase customer satisfaction. Now, I never, ever, 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 ever have touched the fare zone controls. You want to know why? Well, the game did... Not only, not only did the game make a pretty bad job of telling me what they do, but the thing is, I could increase the number of fare zones up to eight, but you know, the problem is, I have absolutely no idea in the world where any of these fare zones are. I don't know what the boundaries are. The game just, yeah, there's some, there is some stuff missing from the game. There's no overlays, there's no, I mean, I could create a million fare zones and I wouldn't even know where a single one was. I just, it's just really sit here, wait for a tram to arrive and then you'll see how much money it gives you. It's not exactly... Well, I mean, stuff like the salary stuff, that, that's fine. I mean, I never even put the staff costs up, and to be honest, I'm not even going to do that. And the advertising, yeah, that's okay. I mean, it's just simple advertising stuff, you know, that's all the stuff that works. But, yeah, when you think about it, the pricing system is a bit broken in this game. I mean, I did lower it in order to get more people, and I've, I've raised it a bit, and actually that hasn't harmed my business too much, but... Just ain't good enough, really. I think we could have used a more in-depth financial thing. I mean, all right, we can have a look at profits and that, but yeah, that just tells me what I made, what, what, where I made money, where I lost money. I mean, 
earnings is just straight up transport service you know so how much basically total revenue have you made well last year we made 2.7 million still made a loss for the year but we actually pulled in 2.7 million in total income and we lost i don't even know what my total expenses were yeah that's a problem with the game as well i could i would like it if it said total income total loss done um but yeah i mean let's just have a look at some graphs as well while we're here just because we're nearly at the end so expenditure was let's do it by year it was all over the shop for this event uh earnings steadily rose um they seem to have dropped for year nine actually i don't know why they dropped for year nine but year eight was where our earnings peaked i think the drop might have been due to switching some lines out for trams so obviously the trams have to uh, recover the lost business i mean buses yeah they've gone up 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 and then they dropped obviously due to me basically purging the buses out of the system trams up 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 city railroad um yeah it made eight thousand one year and then the rest of the year it shat the bed we obviously don't have suspension trains or magnetic railways Company image has gone. Da -da 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 -da. It's been varying. It's been hovering around the uh, 60 figure, and it's peaked at 67. Coverage, yeah, it dropped because obviously I pulled out of suburban things. Company value. I mean, look, at least at least here, this is a number that comforts me a little bit. I mean, look, company value, shit, 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 getting better. Woo, getting really good, and then shit. So um, yeah, company value just did not rise fast enough in this mission. And what we need to do is we need to be much faster in order to get the company value going. What we need to do is. What, we, what I need to do in the next attempt is get the factory line done first. That's going to bring in a big load of money. Invest that money into modernising. Get a tram line going. Just I just need to go really all out on the trams. I obviously use buses initially, but switch to trams ASAP. That's what we need to do. I mean, I could hold out until we get the Gen X Z4, but we actually got that kind of late into the mission. So, yeah. I mean, it's a risk. Do I wait and get a better tram? Do I not? But I'd rather just get the shitty trams first, then I can just upgrade them when I can. Passengers, yeah, we did okay. We did okay on that. Number of vehicles, obviously. Number of stops, yeah. I mean, we could have done better, basically. We could have done better. A lot better. But you know what? I think we put in a decent attempt this time. I mean, we made it out of the first year without making a loss. Line, line 8 needs more trams. Yeah, Line 8 Line eight's doing good. Um, in, in the manner of speaking so there, yeah line 8 you get a new tram i mean we did good we can do better obviously we can do much better i mean we didn't even get a star but you know you know you know like i said we learn something from every defeat and you know what have i learned well people get really annoyed when they can't fit on the tram um it's just really a case of i just need to get everything out quickly but i also need to really 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 work diligently to make sure i'm I'm capable of handling like increases in capacity, so I think my initial bus is in this uh, in this in this uh, mission. Oh, well done! Just miss all those people. Um, what I'm going to do is I think my initial buses are probably going to be Mam GLX twos, just because there's good attractivity and half decent capacity. I'm not going to go for a Mam. Actually, I could. Actually, should I go for a Mam GLX four? My initial line. It would break the bank, but it could make a lot of money if I buy some weasels to support it. Yeah, yeah, that could be worth a, that could be worth a shot, but I'm going to try and not be too risky, of course. I don't want to be too out there. I mean, obviously, business, a lot of it is about taking risks, but you've got to know where to draw the line in business. I should start my own business school. I got good at business by playing fucking Traffic Giant and Tropica. What are the odds? And I'm drinking. I'm not drinking alcohol, by the way. I'm, I'm too miserable for that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Oh well, you know, you know, you know. We tried. That's it. We tried. You can't say anything less than you can't say anything more. Well, well, you can't say. I say I tried. One. But here I can just say, you know what? You know what? I came in. I put me effort in. Maybe it wasn't enough, but you know what? I have another chance to do it, I know what I need to do, line 10 suddenly doing good all of a sudden, but you know what, I know what to do next time, I am going to do what I need to do next time, and I am going to win next time, simple as that, and yes, if you can hear slapping noises, I'm slapping my foot as I say, it's just like my motivation, um, I mean company value ain't doing too bad this year either, I mean we've actually we've pushed over a million in, in less than a year, that is good, that is good, we're only on about, we're on about 5 million, at the start of VM, we've already made it up to six million, but it, it, you know, unless, unless you're going to spontaneously become an extra nine million, it ain't going to happen, unfortunately. Especially since my coverage ain't going up because I'm not increasing it because I can't be fucking asked. Something to keep putting more trams over on. 
lines. Um, I think I'm going to just have to go to Bejo CT120 because I am running out of the ability to transport everyone. I mean, sorry disabled people, you do have to wait for the next gen air. I mean, you can't get on a Bejo for some reason. You know, it's, it's very hard for us to lift you onto a Bejo CT120. It's just, I don't know. It has anti-disabled people repellent on the wallpaper or some bullshit like that, you know. I mean, the Genek is... Why, why was a Genek Z4 the first thing ever to just transport disabled people? I really, really don't understand this. Um, but yeah, here's a new Bejo CT100 for line 5. Please make good use out of it. Please, please, please. I mean, there we go. Look, it just sucked everyone up. And actually, it's improving, it's improving satisfaction a bit. So you know what? We're making some progress. I mean, overall, satisfaction isn't too bad. We've had better, but you know what? It ain't the worst we've ever had. I mean, we do have a few unhappy phases, unfortunately. But just think, a few years ago, there were far too many unhappy phases, and now we're getting rid of them. And that is the that is the the main point we need to make. We are eliminating unhappiness one extra bus at a time. Just before we wrap up this year, then let's just have a look at some final figures. So we actually um. Just by building the new uh, line A, we actually already take taken half of the machine factory. Now those are some good numbers. I mean, look, we're using lines one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Um, line seven is way over there, so I don't blame them for not using line seven. Uh, factory, this one we've got 192 using lines three, four, five, six, eight, nine. This factory, we took the majority on this factory actually, so lines 3, 5, 8, 9, this one, we took a few, this one we took quite a few as well, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, decrypt that, you military bastards. Right, anything else I want to look at, uh, this school, how did I do, 57 pupils out of 480, not enough really, but, oh well, we tried. It's many of these suburbs where these pupils come from, but they're prudish mothers won't let their kiddie winks ride my bus so uh, that's why I've got the issue um, anywhere else uh, what does the word prude mean by the way I've been using it all mission I never bothered to look it up in the dictionary um, this school we got 80 out of 359 so what's more not good enough but what's more fucking suburban soccer moms I believe that's what you Americans call them uh, won't let their kids ride my bus because apparently they're all full of drug addicts um, any other schools? Yeah, there's this school. This is a school where I probably did the best, actually. Um, yeah, uh, we got 147 out of 500, so that's slightly better, at least. Using lines 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. We're using all sorts of bus buses and trams to get to my players. I guess I buy day tickets or something, but yeah. You know what? Next time, I'm going to put in a much better effort. I'm going to be much smarter, and that is how I'm going to pass this mission. Yes, as it stands, our total company value might, with a little bit of luck, hit 7 million at the end of the year. So, we made nearly half of the company value we made, but yeah, half ain't good enough for me. I think, good, well, alright, it is good enough for me, but, you know, we need to do better if we want to get further on in this campaign, you know. You know, you know we're, we're near the end now, there are only 15 missions in this game, these are the final trials, you know, this is like the MasterChef final. And if you fuck up, then uh, Greg Wallace is gonna fucking shank you. Um, while John Tarod watches. Um, so coverage is at 24%. So we got nearly, we got just about half of the coverage. So it's about we're playing halfway out again. But coverage is something that isn't really that hard to get up. The only reason why I haven't done it up here is because foot going into suburbia, those weirdos just don't want to know me. I'm just going to cheat on coverage basically, I'm just going to build one big tram line that just scoops everything up and doesn't really give a shit, you know, but I'll be able to bankroll it. Um, work, we got 21%, that's not bad. Shopping, 21%, that's not bad either. School, we got 20%, so that was the only criteria of a mission we actually uh, fulfilled. Leisure, 3%, I never seem to do good on leisure traffic, and we actually took 23% traffic off the road, so that's... Not really a good number as we normally see, but even at that, traffic ain't too bad. It is still rather numerous and has the potential to get in my way, but you know what? We cut a nice big, big bit out that has allowed my trams to just basically run around, but there are still some traffic jams going around, so you know, we need to definitely get on top of that. And, oh god, I'm so excited to announce this new Let's Play I'm going to do. What pisses me off? I have to do this mission again before I can actually start recording my new Let's Play. I really wanted to start recording it tomorrow, but yeah, 
Anyway, how am I going to be uh, doing the next mission? Just for you who are thinking, oh, fuck's sake, do I have to watch a load more Traffic Giant videos because I am forced to watch all Squawkers videos because he never asks to like, comment, subscribe, so it makes me feel guilty. Yeah, that was my plan all along, bitches. No, I'm just kidding. I don't... If you watch it, you know, some people like certain series, some people don't like other series. It's all good. That's why I'm doing five Let's Players at once. I do something for everyone. I'm a crowd pleaser. I'm a fucking all. You know, five dollars, I'll do a Rome Total War video. Ten dollars, I'll kill myself and play even more Traffic Giant. While doing erotic asphyxiation or something like that. I don't know, something, something, something to stave off the depression this game's causing me. Because, to be honest, I get far too absorbed in this game, so I actually need something to distract myself. Otherwise, I will find myself playing this game for about uh, for a three-hour stretch or something. Well, not a three-hour stretch. That's actually quite normal for a game. I mean, sorry, a 12-hour stretch of Traffic Giant. I could probably actually pull that shit off, sadly. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, uh, next episode, will I will be playing through the entire first year of my new attempt. And then, what I will do is, I will do another episode where... I will just basically, uh, it'll be very edited, it will just be like, I'll jump in at the final two months of a year and say, this is what I did this year, be proud of me, and give me a bonio. And then, after that, I will do, like, say if it, I do run the mission to time, because I can't get three stars, or then I'll just like say, right, here's the entire last year, here's what we're going to do for the final crackdown to beat this mission. But I suspect, if I play this mission right, I could beat this mission about year five, six, or seven-ish. I think that's, I think that's the golden spot there. I don't think you can beat this mission in below five years because raising that, that 15 million company value ain't easy. I need to watch back some of my old episodes, really, and just double check what's my record for raising company value. I mean, I've raised some big company values, but I want to see where I raised it the fastest and see what I did there. Maybe I need to. Have a look back at my past and realise where I went wrong here. Have I lost my touch? Of course not. I've got a good business going on here. If this mission ran to year 20, I'd probably beat it with three stars and honours. But unfortunately, it ain't happened this time. But what do you know? I made 7 million company value, so I made just about halfway at least. You know what? I'm, I'm still happy with 7 million company value. This wasn't an easy mission. This was a challenging mission. But this is what I was asking out of the game. So you know what? You're not beating me yet, game. You're not beating me yet. I'm going to beat you. Because I'm actually about to have a 1 million in liquid assets. But yeah, I lost. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I lost. But join me next time when we re-attempt this mission. And we kick its ass until it's purple. So I'll see you there, folks. For round 4 of Squawker vs. Mission 11 of Traffic Giant. I may have two black eyes and a broken nose, but this time I'm going to uppercut it so hard I'm going to beat this mission to death. See you there, folks. See you there.